common question, Instagram, you can't put links in, in your Instagram post. I mean, you could put links, but they're not clickable, right? And so someone said to me, well, George, does that, doesn't that mean you have to try to get all your Instagram followers over to your email newsletter so that you can email them about offers and content or whatever it is just to make sure they, they, they get things? So there's really two questions here, okay? Question number one is, can you put links on Instagram posts? The answer actually is yes, but it requires running an ad. <laughs> when you run an ad boosting an Instagram post, you can have a clickable button link on that post during the duration of the ad. And actually sometimes even shortly afterwards, but at least during the duration of the ad, you can do it. Even, even if you do a $1 per day ad, there's that button. I mean, if it's an important post for you, if you want them to go somewhere from the post, well, maybe $1 a day is worth doing um, to get that button, clickable button on the ad. And um, you could do it for 10 days, $10, 30 days, $30, right? Et cetera, et cetera. Um, the way people typically do it, as you may see this too, is they want you to go to another web page from Instagram. So they'll say, link in bio. You probably saw those three words many times. What does that mean? That means they want you to go to their profile on Instagram so that you can click on one of the links on, on underneath the, the in, in the bio of the profile. So that's a crude way of doing it. A lot of people don't bother to go to the profile and do it. So clicking, running an ad so that the button is there is much more refined, much more graceful way of, of getting them there. So that's one question. But the other question really is, George, why don't you teach people to take from Instagram or any other social media, by the way, but Instagram particularly is tough because they don't allow clickable links. Why don't you tell people to, to go a newsletter? Should, shouldn't, George, shouldn't that be your main Instagram strategy? Just get everyone to your email newsletter? And here's why I say no. Because to get people to your newsletter means that you still have to, <laughs> there's a two-step process. You have to get them to click on a link, which means running an ad or go to your bio and then go to your newsletter page and then they have to be willing to sign up. And then, not only do they have to click on the link, you know, find, figure out how to click on a link and go and sign up. Now they have to make sure to read your newsletter. They have to open your newsletters to read them. How many of us here sign up to many email newsletters that we do not open? Most of us, all of us do. All of us have many email newsletters we don't open. So what's going on here? Here's what's going on. It is a common myth. And I get frustrated because so many marketers promote this myth that the email newsletter is the most reliable place to get people to see your messages and your offers. Baloney, not true. Because email itself has an algorithm. Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, whatever, Outlook, Apple Mail, all of them have, all of them will decide through the algorithm which emails to show you higher. It's true. And which emails to send to the spam or into the bulk folder, into the promotions folder or whatever. It's true. Email algorithm, people don't talk about this enough. Number one. Number two is that even if your email is high up for them, or whatever, is your relationship with them warm enough that they care enough to open your email to even read it? It's not about the email newsletter, people. It's about the relationship you have with your followers, which, by the way, happens everywhere, not just on email, but on Instagram as well. So what I look at it, the way I look at it is this. My relationship with my Instagram followers is primary. I don't care if they sign up for my email newsletter or not. If my relationship with them is good, meaning if I'm giving them good content that they want, if I'm authentic, okay, if I care, if I, if through my content, I distribute, I, I, I demonstrate my care for them, then they trust me, they like me, they want to see my Instagram post. And when I make an offer to join my group program or to whatever, they open that too. They look at that too. And they will, by the way, if, if, they, if my relationship with them is good, they say, oh, George has a group program. Oh, George has an online course. Oh, George is providing one-to-one -one services. Well, I better go and look at that. They, they will climb over mountains to find where to click that link. And it's not that hard because I'll say, oh, link in bio. I'm lazy to run an ad today. So go ahead and go to my bio and you'll find the link there. And they will. They'll go, oh, good. Oh, yeah, that's easy. I'll click on your profile. Oh, there's the link. Not like, oh, I got to get you on the email list first and you got to open my email and then you got to, all those steps and, and without trust, if there is trust, you don't, you don't even need email newsletter. You're with, with trust, you're, you have a direct contact directly with your, and, and you can even say, hey, listen, if you're interested in my group program, send me a direct message. I'd love to be in touch with you directly so I can answer your questions or make sure you're the right fit or make sure um, I could give you some more information just through the, through the direct message. That's even easier.
right? Because people love, oh, like, oh, I get to direct message with George, with, with, with you, with whoever. Yes. So I hope this is helpful and thank you so much for asking.